In our health alert, quitting junk food could have the same withdrawal effects as giving up drugs. That's according to a new University of Michigan study. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, is here. And Dr. Nandy, how did researchers conclude this one? be the first of its kind as previous studies have really focused on animals and what the researchers did was create a self-reporting tool to evaluate how people felt when trying to reduce their junk food intake. So pretty interesting, 231 adults took part and the results showed that cutting back led to irritability, tiredness, sadness and cravings. And guess what, these are the same and similar to what an addict experiences when quitting drugs, tobacco or alcohol. So pretty interesting stuff. All that video looks so good. Yes. It's such a shame. <laughs> no, just say um, no. Just say no, Glenda. All righty. How long do the symptoms last, Doc? So, Glenda, participants reported their symptoms were the most intense between two and five days. And after that, the symptoms tapered off. Now, junk food, as we know, is created with lots of sugar, fat, and salt, which kind of delights the taste buds, as Glenda said, and our brains, which makes them hard to resist. But too much can lead to what? Obesity. We have an obesity crisis, increase your diabetes risk, affect your memory, and put you at higher risk for depression, cancer, and heart disease. All bad stuff. All right, so how did the people in this study quit junk food, and how did they feel long term? And I'm sure you're going to tell me better, right? <laughs> well, yeah, but those are great questions, uh, Dave, and, and the researchers really didn't address that. But I'll tell you that you can assume that you can phase the junk food out gradually or quit cold turkey. Now, you guys both know that I'm a huge believer in eating foods in moderation. But I, but I do understand that this approach doesn't work for everyone. Some people can handle an occasional treat where others take one bite and it's over, right? It leads to overindulging. So if you want to cut back, you really need to understand how you react to sugary foods and then make a plan for yourself. Also, our sports killing our kids. Please tune in to this Sunday at 1 p.m. for my television show airing here right on uh, WXYZ Channel 7. You'll learn how sports are affecting our kids' health along with other life-inspiring health advice. I hope you guys all tune in. Sports, we will do junk that. food. Yeah. All right, here we go. We'll be watching for sure, Doc. Thank you. And if you have a question or health concern for the good doctor, email him, Dr. Nandy at WXYZ.com, or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him.